The fish in this problem is at a depth, h, of 2 meters below the surface of a still lake. We're asked to find the diameter of the circle through which the fish is able to see the rest of the world above the water. That circle is sometimes called Snell's window. We'll find its diameter using Snell's law and the idea of total internal reflection. Given the two indexes of refraction shown here, we can trace some rays as the fish looks at increasingly large angles from the vertical. N2 is less than N1, so the rays are refracted away from the vertical, and there comes a critical angle where the ray is refracted straight along the surface of the water. If the angle increases any more, it will be totally internally reflected and the fish won't be able to see out of the water. This happens in all directions, so that viewed from above, it makes a circle. We'll call this angle theta c, the critical angle, and its diameter is what we're asked to find in part a. The radius is shown here, half the diameter of the circle, which we can bring down and make a triangle so that the tangent of the critical angle equals the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent side, that's r over h. The diameter is twice the radius, so that equals 2h times tangent of the critical angle. We'll find the critical angle by applying Snell's law to the ray shown in red. For this ray, with that angle being theta c, we have n1 sine theta c equals n2 sine of 90 degrees. Sine of 90 degrees is 1, and the critical angle equals the inverse sine of the ratio of the indexes, air to water. That gives 48.8 degrees. We can substitute that value into our expression above to find the answer to part A. The diameter of the circle is 4.57 meters. Part B asks what happens to the diameter if the fish descends. Notice that the diameter D is proportional to the fish's depth, h. So as the fish descends and h increases, the diameter of the circle increases in proportion.